the person. I'm Kana Sasai. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Today, I'd like to talk about a low probable photoprocess mobile efficiency using correlated double sampling and a reference reader circuit. This is an outline of my presentation. First, I'd like to present the motivation of my study. This graph shows global causes of this in 2016. As you can see, cardiovascular diseases, CPDs, have become the main causes of this in, 20, uh, in the world. Abnormalities due to CVDs can be found from biological information such as heartbeat, blood pressure, blood flow velocity, and so on. It is important to detect abnormalities from this information long-term daily monitoring because this biological information fluctuates in everyday life. In recent years, photoprocessmography, PPG, sensors have been widely used for daily monitoring. This slide shows a simple principle diagram of the PPG sensor. The PPG sensor irradiates light to the blood vessel and senses, senses the remaining light without absorption. In this way, the PPG sensor measures the volume change of an artery over time. However, the PPG sensor has a large power consumption because of the LEDs driving. It is necessary to reduce power consumption while maintaining accuracy for daily monitoring. Next, I'd like to present a PPG power reduction method. The current obtained from the photodiode is very small and it requires conversion and amplification to a voltage. This slide shows the diagram of reader circuit using trans-impedance amplifier TIA. This circuit is commonly used for voltage conversion in recent PPG sensors and it converts the minute current into voltage by the trans-impedance RF. Active rate reduction methods using intermittent LED driving have been widely used to reduce the power consumption of the PPG sensor. However, when the active weight is lowered, the signal to noise ratio, SNR, and the heartbeat interval error are degraded. The SNR and required accuracy are determined by, by an application and the recent PPG sensors consume several hundred microampere currents. I, introdu I introduced a current integration circuit and a correlated double sampling CDS method to reduce the power consumption while maintaining accuracy. This slide illustrates a schematic diagram of the current integration PPG sensor. I introduced the current integration circuit instead of the conventional TIA. Furthermore, the CDS method suppresses noise uh, caused by intermittent operation. Mm -hmm. Here, you can see the diagram of reader circuit using the current integration. This circuit output a voltage obtained by integrating the charge with a feedback capacitor CF. In this circuit, a switching noise, switching noise occurs when the reset switch is changed. This noise influence increases when the LED writing time is shortened, but this problem can be solved by the CDS method. So, this circuit is more suitable for low power operations than TIA. This graph shows the output wave from the current integration circuit and the enlarged waveform at one sampling period. In the CDS method, the offset is sampled at time t1 immediately after turning on the LED. It is sampled again at time t2 after the charge is integrated. 
The difference of these two sampling results can be used as an output. So, the switching noise component can be eliminated. The combination of the current integration circuit and the CDF method to reduce some minute noise such as dark current. The, me the method can achieve an ultra low active rate of LED and accurate heartbeat interval. However, this method is more susceptible to various noise because the irradiation time of the LED is reduced. This slide shows the signal and noise component in the current integration output at one sampling period. The noise produced when switching on and switching off can be suppressed by the CDF. However, it is difficult to remove the other noise, such as hand noise, only using this method. Furthermore, it is challenging to suppress the noise using an analog filter because the signal and noise are modulated. It is also difficult to apply a digital filter after the CDS because the sampling rate is very low. An amplification method only for pulse wave signal is required to improve SNR. I propose a circuit architecture that combines CDS and a reference circuit to overcome the challenge as illustrated in this slide. The proposed radio circuit consists of two current integration circuits and an instrumentation amplifier. The additional current integration circuit is used for reference circuit. The input light of the photodiode of the reference circuit will be, degraded, will be degraded by a neutral density and D filter. Light reflected by the rat inverses will be eliminated using the ND filter. Furthermore, light reflected from the tissues and ambient light will only be attenuated by adjusting the filter. The difference of the difference between the output of the two integration circuits will be amplified by an instrumentation amplifier. Finally, the CDS of the instrumentation amplifier output is calculated by a microcontroller unit, MCU, after a D conversion. Next, I will talk about uh, implementation of the prototype sensor and evaluation of the accuracy and the power consumption. Here, you can see the circuit diagram of the prototype sensor. The proposed circuit consists of photodiodes, uh, ND filter, <coughs> and current integration circuit, uh, in instrumentation amplifier, and CMOS switches, AD converter, and MCU. This slide shows the experimental setup. Three sensors are compared in this evaluation, TIA-based PPG, current integration-based proposed PPG with and without the reference circuit. The commercially available TIA-based PPG sensor is used as the reference. This slide shows the measured pulse waves using three sensors shown in the previous slide. The sampling rate of the proposed current integration-based PPG sensors was set at 20 Hz. The result shows that the SNR of the current integration circuit is improved by the reference weighted circuit. This slide shows the accuracy comparison result of, the, of heartbeat interval. The RMS error is calculated against the reference sensor using TIA. The current integration PPG sensor showed an unacceptable RMSE towards the reference PPG sensor because of the SNR degradation. On the other hand, the current integration with reference weighted circuit achieves 4.27 milliseconds RMSE. 
This graph shows a comparison result of the current consumption. The proposed sensor achieves 26.9 microampere total current consumption, and it is 82.7% smaller than TIA. Then the overhead of the reference circuit is only 5 microampere. This table shows a comparison with prior works. The PPG sensor achieves a high accuracy measurement with minimum current consumption. Finally, let me conclude this presentation. Now, I have a summary. I propose a low power and noise tolerant PPG sensor which consists of the current integration circuit and the CDS method and the reference circuit. The PPG sensor achieves 4.27 milliseconds accuracy, ah, millisecond RMSE accuracy at the wrist with 26.9 microampere current consumption. Thank you very much. Thank you.